Okay, for the purposes of this exercise, let's assume that I've bagged, tagged, and identified all the parts. I've written down and recorded all the observations I've had on, on parts that I'm going to lose evidence as soon as I, uh, you know, release my pinch or, or, or what have you. Now what I'm going to do is kind of, the uh, this is the initial phase, phase one. Phase two is, is I call it kind of clean as you go. And I'm going to do, I'm not going to do this on the video, but I'm just going to give you some examples. For example, this sleeve was exposed to the process. And normally, if this is back for repair, there's going to be some stain, maybe some discoloration or some debris. And I want to characterize that debris. The wrong thing is to write down, there was debris. What I want to do is, remember I've indexed this with my line. I can call that my 12 o'clock point, say from the you know sleeve end, from the driver end. I'll leave that to you. But what I can do is say there's debris at 11 o'clock, uh, you know, so many millimeters from the end. And then I want to characterize it. And the way I do that is, you know, is it hard and crusty? Uh, sometimes what I'll do is I'll put it in the bead blaster. And I won't bead blast the whole part. What I'll do is I'll bead blast a stripe right across there. Because I want to see, A, how easily does it come off? Is there shiny material underneath? Or has or are there corrosion products? Meaning, is it removing material? Uh, so those are some of the things I'll do. I might dip a sleeve halfway in a wash tank overnight and pull it out and see does, you know, yeah, there was, de there, there was staining, but half of it was easily removed with wash water. Um, I might also apply a more aggressive solvent just on one part of the debris to see if it does any work on loosening that debris. Again, that helps me categorize it. And I'll document all that. I'll say I used, uh, you know, this type of solvent, you know, for 10 minutes, and then I'll take a picture and I'll say, and then it looked like this. And then uh, I actually put it in the wash tank and I scrubbed it really hard. Then you take a picture and say, now it looks like this. Okay, you're, ta you're taking the customer through that process. I will do the same thing with seal faces. Uh, what I'll typically do is after I characterize all the debris, wear, chipping, or anything like that, is I'll do a very, very light hand lap, assuming the face isn't too heavily damaged. And then I'll clean it up and I'll look and I'll say, okay, you know, I'll look at it under an optical flat and say, all right, you know, yeah, there was some phonographing in distress, but it was only, say, two or three light bands deep. You know, it hand lapped off in five minutes. So that really wasn't significant wear. If it takes me, say, uh, you know, more than an hour to hand lap back to flat, I know that face was very unhappy tribologically. And I'll, sometimes I'll photograph as I go with seal faces. I know that's hard, but you need to document it as you go. Same thing with uh, silicon carbide or, or any other type of seal 